everyone, Esperin here, coming 101, and it is, it is freaking hot tonight again. So, like I said, I hope the fan is not bothering my voice, so you, so, you know, make sure you can hear me clearly. <clears throat> Alright, so I know a lot of you have seen the, the title probably before you saw the picture. And yes, we're going to do a part two of the Cockroach Terminator. This is the first print, and this is the second print. That's right, two prints. Um, to me, honestly, I think the second print looks so much better. So much better, so much better. So we're going to get on with this uh, review. Uh, of course, I'm going to introduce you to uh, Fighter Corners. Check them out, here's their address, here's their Facebook, and give them a call. Anime, old school, new school uh, stuff, video games, toys, so on and so on. They have some really good stuff there, people. And check out a uh, buddy Jared. He does reviews. Well, he's starting to reviews right now. Um, they also he also goes out with his own, his buddies and hunt around for turtle toys and Power Rangers. I mean, different toys and everything. And uh, he always finds the good stuff. So go ahead and check it, check him out. If you like his stuff, you know, subscribe to him, whatever. All right. So let's just get, jump right in to this um, cockroach Terminator part two. All right, all right. So, okay, this is the original look, how he first came out. As you can see, yes, there's a hole right here. Um, a, uh, someone from Facebook actually made a a plug for that, so it actually blends in there, so they don't have to worry about that big old missing hole right there. Which, you know, this is how I would have made it. I would have deleted a hole, like you no, know, make sure there's no hole there. Maybe put like a little rubber piece so you could bend back and forth with his little saw thing. That's what I that's what I would have done. But you know they everyone has their own ideas. So thought before I get any more info with this one, uh I don't know if you can see that two thousand thirteen Viacom in China. Just the address and everything. Alright. So there. So when you buy him You'll get uh, his um, chainsaw separate, well not separate but atta unattached, and then his little antenna. You gotta attach it onto his head. And as you can see, as you can see, as you can see, let me put the second one with it. Alright, so I'm pretty sure you already could tell the differences. Um, let me set them straight. And as you can see, that um, the Cockroach Train Mary Part 2 is a lot, it looks a little bit more shorter than the first print. And um, the other part is, is that the color of their eyes is the robot part. Which let me see if I can zoom up on it for you. For the second print of the eye, it has a more of a darker red. Over here, the red is a little more faded and a little more lighter than the other version. The face is still the same. Uh, I'm trying to look at it more. As you can see, with this um, top of his head, of, the, of his head color, it's a lot more darker kind of like a glassy look to him. And over here, the top of his head, it's a little bit more light brown, not as glassy as the other one. So let me put them together. So you guys can check it out. Come on camera, work with me here. There we go. So as you can see, the colors are totally different. This one is like a faded kind of color with uh, light brown. And over here is like that darker, glossy look to it. Now the other part is the antenna. He has, the first print has more of that kind of faded, just like regular gray color. which is supposed to be metallic, right? But over here, the the antenna has more of that metallic 
look to it, which is really nice because it's a lot more shinier and instead of being on like fair kind of color, which I am going to see if we put them together because I mean, it's going to be difficult. If the camera zooms in, zooms out. Come on, camera. Bring it up. Let's keep zooming up in the background. What the heck, man? Oh, we'll skip that part, I guess. Another form. Also, start off with our chest. You know, the easiest front shell part of, it, of the roach. As you can see, the chest has over here is just plain, regular, kind of like a tan brown. But the underline of it, underneath it, of every um, crack part, has like a line, uh, like a dark brown line underneath it. But over here, it's totally different. So that dark brown, you have a black underneath it. And then you have more of a yellow chest with that shaded kind of like, I don't know, I guess say like kind of like a dark brown shade into his stomach. Which I like it like this a lot better. Let's see what else. I really want to show you the tenna. And there you go. So over here, this is the first print. You can see the, the, the shine into it barely goes in through the, uh, the antenna well the shine over here has that more shinier more realistic metallic metal look to it and of course the brown part over here has a more of a darker antenna while over here has a lighter glossy kind of color of a brown And then the bottom to their legs, as you can see over here, for the first print, has just a regular, just a regular brown, dark brown color. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And over here, for the second print, you can tell there's little sh um, shades, kind of color, like the shadow like around his legs, a little light color. And also his legs, let me put this up here, has a more of a, hmm more of a different color skin the only problem is with my second print is that the joints is loose like right here it just pisses me off just doing that same thing with my um, Raphael toy does so I gotta figure out how to put it, put it in there in the hole right now for the side, you can tell the color all around different. But the part right here is what I want to show you. See, like the second print has more of that glossy look, and of course they the repainted the whole metal thing. I was trying to tell you that this is over here in the first print. It has more of that, just like a shiny gray color. Well, this one looks more uh, metallic. I'm pretty sure you can see the differences. See, so this one looks gray, and this one has that shiny metallic look. The other thing that really tripped me out is, as you can see, here's the first print. Of the, the hands has that little rubber look feel to it. Well, the second print has the more of a rubber feel, like you can bend a lot more than the first print. And of course, the inside, the like I said, the metallic part inside their arms. The second print has that shiny, pretty metal look, while the other one's just a regular gray color. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, so that's part right there. Like I said, the skin color for the for the second print is a little bit more darker than the first print. And now the part that made me go, huh? I didn't even notice this until the very last minute. The back piece 
Here's the first, well, the second print again. As you see, the shell has a little bit different color of the brown. And the metal piece over here is painted right here. Nice and painted. Over here, they didn't even paint it at all. The brown over here, the second print, is actually darker um, front back shell than the first print. As you can see with the light. Totally different color in her wings. The other thing is, I noticed about the first print is the legs part right here. It's really hard to uh, move forward, as you can hear it. It goes out like that. But the second print, however, is very loose. So you And of course the arm, like I said, is could get the bolt right into it. Gotta fix that, but it moves from the arms like that. He kept the original paint for the front of his mouth, which is really cool. And Raphael is terrified about this character. The other thing, I, ju I just saw it, I didn't I didn't even notice it until I just looked at it. First print right here, there's a little eye right there. As you can see, the, the rest of the paint is right here, all metallic. Second print doesn't even have it painted. So that's something new. I think, like I said, I just spotted that. So, looking through it, see if I miss anything, and it doesn't look like I, I am missing anything. I just like the second print a little bit better, because I like, remember, I, if you haven't seen my uh, review for the movie uh, Shredder one, the 2014, and I said I love how they finally painted the back part of his head metallic, because it looks like real metal. And then they do the same thing with, with um, Cockroach Shredder, they actually put that same shiny metal on, on his arms. His antenna, his eyes, and of course his side of his arms. And I love it. I love the shiny metallic look. It looks fantastic. It looks more realistic. You know, I see, you see what they're actually trying to go for. Then over here, I mean, it looks cool and everything, but it's still faded. So hopefully they will do the same thing with the other shredders. You know, make them more metallic. I guess they call it. Well, of course the little arm moves. Um, so let's put this over here. This stands so difficult sometimes. Hopefully they're gonna bring him back soon. For the chainsaws, for the blades, whatever you want to call it. Now, these are one they they made for the cool inside a hole. And as you can see, the difference is already for the gray part. I hope so you could with the camera. Uh, the new version, the second print, has a little darker gray look to it. While this first print actually has more of the, sh the lighter gray. Doesn't have that metallic look to it. But the first print um, saw has a more of a glossy to it. Well, the second print doesn't have that glass. Now the saw part, which is supposed to be um, silver tube in the demo version, I'm pretty sure you're gonna spot it right away. The brown over here is so much darker. I mean, not darker. The more of that uh, light tan kind of color. But it also has like faded um, brown. Or over here has a darker, glossy look to it, which it looks much better. I think it looks much better. Um, let's see what else I can see. 
the cut seems more more deeper of the lines inside in the second print. So yeah. you see the difference on that. So it goes right in here into his stomach. There, looks like that. Now, here's uh, the back piece of the cockroach. This one, let's see. Try to remember. Oh, yeah, okay. So, this is the second print. And this one is, is the first print. I know a lot of you will be like, it looks the same to me. Well, on the camera, which I guys it a little bit better. The difference is. Let's see. Okay. The first print red is a lot more lighter, and the second print red is darker. And you can see it in the picture of the cockroach turning around there. He looks so plain and so boring, but yet the the middle piece is a lot more shinier. So luckily, we have three prints. If they release that one, but I doubt that. But to me, he looks so much better like that. Than having this plain boring one. Even the first print looks better than the original demo version. So yeah, everything on the first print on the color, like the purple, the first print will always have you the lighter color, as the second print always gonna have the darker color to it. Nothing really new about the whole uh, website thing, because if you watch my uh, first print for Leonardo and Raphael, and Michelangelo and Dante, I brought in the second print, and their boxes were so much different. Different website, because they usually start all Playmates, the other one says, um, uh, uh, the other website for Nickelodeon, but this one right here, actually both of them just say Playmates, nothing really different. No bloopers, nothing on the side, on the back. I love the, I do love the color of the neon spray paint, green and everything. Oh, there's a difference right here. Let's see which one is this one. Okay, so the first this is, or the front part right here is the second print, and the first print is on the back. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you can see it right away. It's the Nickelodeon signs painted differently. Second print Nickelodeon is more darker orange. And then the Nickelodeon's logo for the first print is a little bit lighter orange. It's purple in the front is darker than the back. And if you put them together, let's see, get their size. They, uh, yeah, okay. I don't know if you can see this well. Corner piece. First prints are, uh, they have more of the edge point. While the second print has more of that loop. Right there, as you can see, point, and there's a loop right there on the second point. Or second print, I mean. I do want to say this, and I, <clears throat> it just popped in my head recently. Playmates, thank you for making the hook, because I'm getting really tired of the whole can't bend the piece in there and blah, blah, because when I was a kid, and they made that little square piece, and we see the toy that we want, we had to take everything out just to get to the back of the to, uh, to that toy we really want and we had to put everything back so since we have a hook we just unhook it and then bring it to the side right out easily so I'm taking everything apart well in case you know everything falls on top of you so that's pretty much it you know the color the print of the card Let's see anything else anything else so now it looks more more like the um, Cockroach in America because he had the same color print right there. As you can see, thank you for doing that so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nothing different on the storylines. Same thing at the back. Nothing different. Just looking through right now. Hopefully, they do the same thing for a fish now. Uh, fish face. So. There you have it. First print and second print. This one should be easier for you guys to uh, spot instead of like Leonardo and all of them because you gotta 
look really close to their faces because their their faces always different. Their color is definitely different. That, that one's a big giveaway. And you have to look at the back of the different but with this one so easy to spot so easy to spot to find out which one's the first and which one's the second so playmates thank you for repainting um, cockroach the right color and make them stand out a lot more instead of this plain plain one but don't get me wrong I love it I love the original ones but I also love the second print and I think he looks so much better like this so thank you so much um so everyone um Push the like if you like the review. Push the like if you love this action figure. I think Cockroach Jr. was pretty cool, and I was laughing so hard because I can't believe I see Raphael running from a, a cockroach like that. Um, that was my first series. I hope they bring him back again, which they showed him that he's gonna be reborn again. Uh, so yeah, push the like if you like the toy. Push the like if you like the review. I hope I put some good information in there for you guys, so you know what's to look for, look out for, and what's the differences and everything else. Um, so, uh, yes, uh, if you know anybody out there who are hardcore collectors like me, who wants the first print and second print stuff, and you hear them talking about it, send this video to them, like, copy the, um, the video, like, the, the links, and send them to them, and show them the, the link that there is a second print out there. Um, and I remember some guy said that he bought the second print, and nobody didn't believe him, and blah, blah, blah. But hopefully this uh, video will help him out to show his friends that he's not crazy after all. <laughs> okay? I mean, I saw it before he posted it up, and then I, I told him that he's right. This is the second print. So hopefully everything is okay. Nothing, I didn't miss anything. If you see anything that I don't have on both of them, and you have something that I do, or I don't, tell me. Uh, take a picture of it, send it to my Facebook, or uh, if you have a video of it, Tag it with mine so everybody can see it as well. Uh, put your comments on it. I want to hear your comments. I want to hear what you have to say about this toy. Which one you like better? You like the first one better, or do you like the second one better? All right. So that's my review right there. Um, I do remember someone else in uh, I think in a different group on Facebook that um, the guy actually got a second print of the cockroach, and um, I mean, I feel sorry for the guy because everyone was like, oh, it looks really cool, uh, costume and everything. It's like, it's not a costume, it's actually a bottle like this. And the guy didn't understand, he's just, I guess you could tell he's kind of a new guy trying to, uh, to, um, collect. And he bought this, the first thing he bought, and everyone's like, oh, you, 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 you painted it. And the guy's like, what are you guys talking about? Because he didn't understand the whole first and the second print and everything else. And I had to explain it to him. So hopefully, once this video, um, airs on off on YouTube and people pass this video around they actually know that this is a second print not a costume uh, spray paint and everything else so Ta -da! it is real people this is really from Playmates it's not spray paint from me or from another fan they actually repainted them and that's what they're going to start doing is that now they're actually going to repaint everyone else hopefully like letterhead and all that I'm sorry I misunderstood the letterhead part. Um, so yeah, I, um, I will put the other links underneath this one, the whole part two of Leonardo, Michelangelo, Dontown, and Raphael, because they are also second prints. Uh, there's a second print on Mutagen Man, because um, one of them has the pupil eyes and the other one doesn't. Uh, Scroll Zoy is another one, he doesn't have the green on his teeth and the other one does, which I have. Casey Jones is the second print. Uh, the mask is grayer, and the other one's white. And his chest, he's wearing a vest that's gray, and the other one's black. Uh, what else? The other one. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's another uh, second print. I think I could be wrong on this one. I think Splinter is also repainted, but of course, they all they did is darken him up a little bit. Um, that's all I could I could remember. As far as anything else, oh, Dog Pound, he's also spray painted differently. There's one with his all white face, and then the one I have, he's like, have a little bit of white face and more of the orange around his face and his chest. Letterhead also, another print, um, he has less uh, gray paint right here and less gray paint on the side, on top of his head and on his tail. Because the other one has more. I know there's someone else out there that was painted differently. Oh, and there's a second print of Leonardo and Michelangelo giant size battle shell, um, the battle shell, the battle shell one. Uh, they um, darken him up and they have more scratches on his face. 
than the first print one. The first print you can see little lines here and there, but the Dontello you barely can see it. Ralphie you can barely see the scratches on his face, but Leonardo and Michelangelo looks like they got their butt kicked by the shredder and their faces all sliced up and everything. And it looks really cool, like they got into a fight. So check those guys out as well. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I can't think of anything else. If you do know anyone else I didn't mention, please put on the comments down below. But as for anything else, I'm trying to fix his arm. I don't know how they, this factory got this, got away with not seeing this. So I have to fix this one and the Raphael ones. But uh, once again, uh, the second print is more rubber feel. And you can bend it a little bit more than the, the first print. Not too much, but you can bend it a little bit more and everything else. Um, oh, and of course, uh, the booklet is a little bit more different too. Uh, I forgot to show you this one. This is the print for the cockroach one. So you get the new version. You have the Casey Jill mask. Uh, the Dojo ones, which I got to do Leonardo next. I know, I know. I somebody just says, somebody's arrows are saying you got to do the Dojo Leo one. Because I just got it and I finally found one. Um, I, I won a little scratch ticket and I won like some money. And my girlfriend went shopping and I went shopping and I bought um, Dojo Leo for my, for my law ticket. So with this one, you have more um, selection. Um, the demo, they actually fixed up the demo of the, uh, cockroach here there, look at, it's the first print, as you can see, instead of, like, that dark, instead of, like, this piece, like, on the cockroach, they, they upgraded him on, the, the demo version, so, that's pretty cool, so, I don't know, any, anyone else looks different, Razor is coming out, New, 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 neutralizer is coming out, so I can't wait for that one because I want to show you the original neutralizer, the lizard. Cause you know he's from the 90s, right? It's just he was a rejected toy, and they upgraded him to a sweet looking um character. All right, so if you want to check that, I'll go neutralizer 1990, and you'll see the original print. It's kind of like Dredge on um, Judge Dredd, kind of. Eh. Mm, that's all I gotta say. I can, you can see why they rejected it, but he looks okay now. So, so um, yeah. So all, all of you hardcore collector who are like, oh, I gotta get the second print. Uh, this is for you guys. So keep your eyes open. Uh, he is out there. I saw him in two different stores, Walmart and Target. I haven't seen him at, at uh, uh, Toys R Us, but he, I'm pretty sure he'll be out there soon. So if you see this, this is the easiest to spot. It's just look at the look at this. The chest of what gives it away and then that. So big difference. You can spot it easily so you don't have to be like hurting your head like you look so different. What's going on here? But yes, as a collector, a hunter, I would have to say, get the Sega Prince, people. It's sweet. They do the same thing with the original 80s and 90s. First print and second print. We've always been doing this for all our lives, and now we're doing it again with the new version because the original makers are back making these, the new um, toys. So that's why I love about this because it makes it more fun to hunt down and everything. All right, uh, take care of yourself, people, and happy hunting. I just spotted something. See what happens when you don't really look to at something? But I spotted something different on the cockroach one. <laughs> I didn't. I'm pretty sure somebody spotted it before I did, but I didn't notice it. Look really, really, really close at the head. Look at the um, the antenna. F first brain has a small antenna. Second brain has a longer antenna. head looks the same but yeah the antenna is, is totally different so I was about to take a picture for the cover for the, the review but I'm like wait a minute so yeah second print has a longer antenna as this one over here has a shorter antenna alright people take care of yourself and happy hunting alright it's ebay time I was kinda curious what people were asking for the original cockroach over here free shipping sounds really cool right okay cool Alright, this guy is selling it for like 40 bucks. Uh, da -da -da -da. Here's a guy, it, 
Inchigo, Kong, whatever, some Asian dude. Um, so apparently he's not doing too, too well because of the red star. But there's this bowl right here, the whole one watcher. Yeah, that one watcher is him. So when you go over here, like, oh, I really want this toy because it's still in the package. It's so rare. I can never go anywhere else. Like, I can't get it for eight, eighty dollars or eight bucks at Walmart. I got to buy forty bucks. So if you put like, I don't know, forty six dollars, forty six dollars into this thing, that one watcher will come out of nowhere and boom! And all of a sudden, he made a higher bid of a higher bid. Just like that, and so you're like, okay, well, I'll put 50 bucks in it, and boom, he jumps right in and makes another money off it. You're not betting anyone else. You're betting yourself. So this guy, one watcher, is wants to you go up to 100 bucks, maybe 80 dollars, get you know money out of you, and then that one watcher will give up because well, he has money out of your wallet, and then you get your free toy, or not really free, but you know what I mean. So instead of being like this idiot right here, go to Walmart. Toys R Us, go anywhere and get it for eight bucks or eight eighty eight. Or hell, I mean shoot, just go straight to the uh, comic book stores. They're probably challenge what was it? What was the last month last one? I went to a comic book store and they were asking for like twelve dollars. I mean that's kinda retarded. But twelve dollars beats, you know, forty bucks, but hey. Your decision guys, what do you guys think about this? Put your comments down on this guy. It's gone.